Up next, some motivation to move. Today we're focusing on a part of exercise that a lot of us neglect, stretching. It's important when it comes to staying healthy and staying on the move. So let's talk about the benefits and get inspired to stretch with some new moves. So here to lengthen and pull us in the right direction is flexologist Alicia Coutain from the Stretch Lab. Alicia, I, stretching is so important in our daily lives, but there's a real science behind it. Yes, absolutely. Stretching um, is a science to just learning your body. When you're doing a regular stretching routine, you're going to be lengthening all of your muscles and the soft tissues associated with it. It's increasing your blood circulation, your oxygen levels, helping your muscles stay hydrated and as well just healthy in general. So how does stretching help us with our overall functionality as we age? Stretching is so important for injury prevention. Stretching is also getting you into a routine to help connect to your body inside and out. So should we only be stretching before or after a workout or should it be part of our daily routine? Stretching is important to do for your everyday routine because it's a flexibility training. Of course, beneficial to do before a workout. It's important to help warm up the muscles for your workout and as well cool down the muscles. How long should we hold it to be effective? At least sit in a stretch for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Let your muscles remember and get the idea, oh, you want to lengthen. Getting in small increments until you're ready to sit in a nice stretch or do a full out full body routine. We should be really learning how to stretch from the ages of three all the way through the rest of life because that really just keeps you connected to your body overall. You have a few stretches you are going to show us today. Stretch number one is for the back. So what I want um, Amanda to do is to go to the side for me as far as you can, awesome. So what this stretch is doing is stretching the uh, QL, as well as nice the the dorsi, and as well a little bit of your obliques in your abs. And now I'm gonna have Bailey come back into upright position and bend forward. Bending towards your toes, you feel it in your shoulders. This is a nice full stretch. All right, so stretch number two is for a part of the body a lot of us just forget about, or we just neglect, and that's our wrists. There are about 14 structures of muscle in this one forearm alone. So often that this can get so tight where we get carpal tunnel. Please make sure you're stretching this whole thing because it's coming up to here. This last stretch is my favorite. Stretch number three is for our neck. Um, it's important to stretch your neck in all directions. Do a lateral flexion of the neck where she's going from her, her ear to her shoulder. And as well as to help get into a deeper stretch, I'm gonna have her put her hand over her ear, have her come out of it and turn her nose to that same shoulder we just did, putting her hand over her head, bringing her nose to her armpit. This is gonna get to the back of the neck with your extensors, as well as that um, levator scapula that it goes into the shoulder. I'm gonna have it barely put both her hands behind her head and pull her head straight down. So wrapping it all up, I think we all understand that stretching is important, but we also need to remember to incorporate stretching into our everyday lives to live healthier. Stretching is always important for your quality of life to increase and getting into a nice stretch routine will help you stay connected to your body's alerts when it comes to pain. I'm gonna go stretch, thanks for joining us. We wanna hear from you guys. How do you practice stretching in your daily lives? Tell us on Facebook, just search for Living Healthy Chicago. So if you like this video and want more Living Healthy, just subscribe to our channel.